quit because we didn't do much. So uh, credit to, to Hess. He pitched great. Um, got out of a first inning. We had runners first, second, nobody out. Three, four, and five um, coming up. And, you know, we didn't advance a runner at all. That was, uh, that was a little hard to swallow. But, uh, you know, their offense just got after – Got after our pitching tonight, and we, you know, we didn't have an answer. Holland's been so good for you this year. What do you think was happening tonight? Well, I don't really know. I'll have to kind of watch the video or the, you know, I, I need a better uh, angle. I don't know where those pitches were, but they seemed to be on him pretty good, whether it was a fastball or a cutter or even some uh, off other type off speed pitches. They just, uh, you know, and he made a mistake. They hit him hard. It seemed like they had runners on two pitches in every inning. And, uh, you know, we just we, – we pick a guy off second. We got out of a little jam there. Thought maybe we were going to flip the switch a little bit. But, uh, you know, Hess just came out and pounded the zone, got ahead of us, and swing and miss a lot. And, uh, you know, you saw what happened. That's three straight SEC losses by quite a bit. Uh, what what's the message to the team uh, after a game like that? Yeah, we gotta we gotta figure it out. Um, you know, you can you can point at pitching, but you can also point at hitting as well. You know, we we haven't driven in any runs uh, in in league play. Uh, we're not hitting very well in league play the last three games. So uh, you know, it's a lot of pressure on pitchers when you're not scoring, vice versa. So. Uh, the message is we get to try again tomorrow. Coach, in a game like this, are, how much are you paying attention to body language with your players and just kind of looking around and seeing how guys are responding to adversity? Not really paying attention to that at all. I, I can see that all the time. I don't need to really pay attention to it. I know that they're not happy. Uh, what I'm trying to do is save, save some guys, try to win tomorrow. When you're getting hammered, you just kind of let it roll sometimes and let it go. Uh, you know, we still got two to play. You know, silver lining, Stovall got a hit there at the end. Do you think that can maybe kickstart him a little bit and get him, you know, back on track? Well, that'd be nice, you know. Um, I'll, I'll leave it at that. You talked about saving arms. You got three and two-thirds out of Austin Ledbetter tonight. What did you see from him? Well, I appreciate Austin. He went out there and, and uh, saved our bullpen a little bit and had an inning or two where it went pretty good, but – had a couple, we had to fight it, gave up some runs. Um, but uh, was glad to see him go out there and really get after the strike zone for us. It's the first time you haven't used Hagen Smith on Friday since you took him out of the starting rotation. Do you, you have any update on how you might use him the rest of the weekend? Same way. Hopefully uh, we're in the game. We can put him in there. If not, we may start him. Okay.